Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. So a lot of us right now are spending a lot of time at home, um, isolating, in quarantine, doing all of that fun stuff. And that is leaving us with a lot of time to think about things. And so I thought it might be fun to find out if your person of interest is thinking of you during this quarantine. And if so, what are they thinking about? How are they feeling? What are they wanting from you as well? Um, those are the things we're going to be talking about. So we have three groups here to choose from. Um, one, two, and three. Group number one we have this necklace. This is a megalodon tooth. Uh, for group two, we have this ring. Very cute. It's got a little eyeball on it. Um, and group number three is this bow, which is kind of shaped like a bat. So, um, I will give you guys a moment to make your choices. As always, the timestamps will be in the comment section below. So if you already know which one you want to pick, you can head on down there and skip ahead. Um, I want to thank everybody who entered the 20K giveaway. It was a success. If you want to see who won, I did post it. Uh, I made a post here on the channel and I also put it on Instagram. Um, thank you to everyone who entered and also just thank you to all of my subscribers in general. Obviously, I wouldn't be here without all of you and I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody who takes the time to watch my videos and leave me a like and a nice comment and all of that stuff. Um, it really means a lot to me. Uh, if you are interested in a private reading, I do offer those. My links are going to be in the description. Um, I have my own website and also an Etsy store. I'm going to be trying to shift everything to my website and I would like to eventually stop using Etsy because they take a portion of every sale that I make and because of that, on my website, I'm able to offer you guys readings at a bit of a lower cost. So if you're interested in a reading, I would recommend going through my website as opposed to Etsy because they're going to be cheaper over there. Um, also, you can follow me on Instagram if you're interested at Serpentine Daughter, just like it's spelled here. The All of those links will be down there somewhere. Uh, so check them out if you want to, I guess. Um, yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So let's just jump into this with our reading. Group number one. Is your person thinking of you? How are they feeling about you? And uh, what do they want from you? We're, it's This is basically going to be like a an energy check. This is one of those things that I like to revisit every now and again. Um, okay, so let's see, what deck do I want to use for you guys? Thinking this one, this is the Kawaii Tarot. Every time I use this deck, I always get people asking me in the comments what deck it is, because it is pretty cute. Kawaii Tarot. This is the box right here. So, group one, is your person thinking of you? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Is group one's person thinking of them? Six of Swords reversed. Justice. Oh, can I just get one card at a time, please? Okay, Ace of Pentacles reversed. How is your person feeling about you currently? We have the Lovers, interesting. Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. And what do they want from you right now? Judgment. The 
It's too many cards. Three of Cups. I'm going to turn it upright. It came out kind of sideways, but I feel like it should be upright. Page of Pentacles reversed. And the Empress. Okay. I am also going to pull maybe one or two Oracle cards, see if there's anything that they would like to add to this. <laughs> Worth waiting for, okay. Soulmate. All right. So, group one. This is interesting. Um, first of all, are they thinking of you? Yes. Um, we've got some interesting stuff here, though. The seven of pentacles reversed, six of swords reversed, justice, eight of pentacles reversed. Obviously, these are a lot of reversals. Um, reversals in general to me tend to indicate uh, like self-focused or internal energies, very reflective, contemplative kind of energies. So definitely this person is doing a lot of thinking right now. Um, you know, given everything that's going on in the world, that's kind of all we can do at the moment, most of us. Um, so this person definitely is thinking about you a lot as far as what they are thinking of you. I am getting that, first of all, I'm getting frustration, which is interesting. Um, Seven of Pentacles, in general, this is about investments, um, slow but steady progress towards a goal. It's about patience, you know, waiting to be able to reap the rewards of your hard work and efforts. Um, in the reverse position, it can indicate an investment that is not paying off for some reason, or it can indicate uh, frustration, like with a lack of progress in a situation. Also, the Six of Swords reversed. Upright, this is reconciliation and conflict resolution. In the reverse position, it's talking to me about an issue that is not being resolved for some reason. Um, it's also talking to me about like a lack of communication. So I feel like uh, you and whoever it is you're thinking about probably have not really been in contact with each other recently. And I wish this would stand up. Um, I feel like you haven't been in contact very much recently, if at all. And this is... <sighs> It's like this person is wanting to communicate with you, but they're also waiting. I feel like they're waiting for you to reach out to them first. Um, this Oracle card worth waiting for, again, this is another energy of waiting, patience, waiting for something to happen. Um, this is from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. I don't interpret these cards super literally. Uh, usually I just pay attention to like what, what words, what elements of the image uh stand out to me the most at at any given time um so i feel like this person wants to communicate with you they want to have some sort of conversation with you but for whatever reason they're not willing to make that initial uh contact um justice is about fairness balance wrongs being made right uh i feel as though they Let's see, how do I want to say this? I'm getting something about... Okay. So, based on what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing here, you and this person seem to have had some conflict, some difficulty within your connection. And I feel, for the most part, both of you played a role in this conflict. Both of you perhaps did or said something that was not ideal. Um, however, I feel like for a lot of you, your person is putting a lot of the blame for how things have turned out upon you, as opposed to, you know, owning 
you know, their part in it or accepting, you know, their own accountability and, and whatever. Um, it feels like this person is waiting for you to reach out to them because they want you to be the one to apologize to them. Um, the Ace of Pentacles also reversed here. This typically is about new beginnings, um, offers being made, messages, in the reverse position, it kind of gives me an energy of, like, procrastination. Um, pentacles correspond to the earth element. So these are cards that generally relate to, you know, physical, tangible things like uh, money, career, etc. But also, you know, real tangible actions. So in the upright, this is about, you know, taking real tangible actions towards some kind of goal, you know, trying to accomplish something in a real way. Um, in the reverse, it's like putting something off, putting off, you know, taking those actions, putting off making the effort to to do something. And it's really tying in with what I was just talking about with how it's like this person I feel like this person would like to have an opportunity to try to work things out with you but they're not thinking about it in a in a really uh appropriate way I feel because like I said I get the sense that for many of you your person is not holding themselves accountable for their part in this connection like how things have turned out um they are they're putting a lot of the blame the fault upon you and they're feeling frustrated that you have not taken action towards them and a lot of you are probably thinking uh they need to be the one to take action towards me not the other way around and you're probably right um well like I said, I, I, I feel for, for many of you, there's, you know, um, both of you played a role in this to some degree, but, you know, it's, uh, there needs to be a balance here, and right now your person is not willing to meet you in the middle, basically, is what I'm saying. That's what they're thinking about, um, and like I said, there's a lot of frustration with that, with the fact that you haven't offered them the apology, you haven't, you know, come towards them with the message that they want to hear from you. Um, as far as their feelings towards you are concerned, we do have the lover's card, which generally speaking is about union and partnerships. Um, this is typically a very loving kind of energy. We also have the soulmate card. Um, the Lovers is considered to be one of the soulmate cards as well. Also, the Wheel of Fortune relates to divine timing, divine guidance. Uh, also, we have Judgment, the Empress. These are cards that sometimes relate to soul connections, justice as well. So, I think it is possible that the two of you have some sort of soul level connection or bond with each other, but that's not really what we're talking about in this reading. Um, as far as their feelings towards you are concerned, this person definitely feels a connection to you. They feel an attachment to you. This person, I think, does care about you in their own way. Um, I just feel... I feel like this person's energy is not... To, okay, to me, can I just say this? To me, this doesn't feel like the kind of energy that I would want to be around. And I don't know that this is just, like, who they are as a person. I think for some of you, this person might be um, regressing a little bit because of their circumstances. Like, I feel for some of you, when this person becomes stressed or they feel stuck, they become, they get kind of a bad attitude and they, they become kind of immature and childish. Like, they regress, you know what I'm saying? And, like, given what's going on in the world right now, and just their personal situation, I feel like that's, I feel like they are feeling very stressed and not in control of things, and that's making them kind of irritable and, yeah. Um, so this person's not in a great 
energy currently. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse here. This card is about hard work, putting forth the effort, uh, putting effort into something in the reverse. It's talking to me about a lack of motivation or an unwillingness to work towards something to make the effort in a situation. So this is really talking again about the fact that, like I said, I'm seeing this person, I'm seeing this person wanting to work things out with you. Like they feel, they feel confident or they feel like, you know, you guys could work things out. You guys could improve your relationship to each other. But there's no motivation on their part to do the work. It's like they feel as though you should be doing all the work. And that's really not fair to you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, this is change, this is movement, this is cycles. Um, again, like I mentioned a minute ago, it also relates to divine timing and karma. I feel like, you know, this is a very fluctuating kind of energy. So I feel like their feelings towards you, I'm saying feel a lot, um, but their feelings towards you seem to be kind of unstable. Um, you know, I do get this loving kind of energy. I do get that this person cares about you in their own way. Um, but I'm also getting, like I said earlier, feelings of frustration and annoyance. And like the King of Pentacles reversed is kind of talking to me about like, I want to say jealousy. Jealousy is the word that comes to mind. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to figure out what it is they would be jealous of. You might know just right off the bat. <laughs> um, I feel for some of you, your person could have an eye on you somehow, and they may be they may be interpreting like what you're doing in your life as they they may be seeing you as you know doing well and adapting to you know what's happening in the world very well and all of that um and they might be kind of jealous of that or you could be involved with like somebody else or they might think you're involved with somebody else to some degree um, that could also be where this jealousy is coming from i just feel like your person is seeing you as like they're looking at you somehow and they're seeing you as like living your life being happy and they're feeling like you don't care about them they're feeling like you don't care about their feelings or what they want but the reality is they're not really taking your feelings into account either Because, again, they're not owning up to anything. They're not holding themselves accountable for anything that has occurred between the two of you. Um, the King of Pentacles reversed also can relate to instability. So it's like it, love-hate is kind of, I feel like that's too strong of an expression to use here. But it's kind of, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. It's like... On the one hand, they do care about you a lot and they do have all of these loving feelings towards you. But on the other hand, they're also very frustrated and, and kind of upset with you um, because they're, you're not doing what they think you should be doing right now. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure where this person is getting the idea from that you should be doing any particular things at this point in time. Like, you know, you don't. You, most of you probably don't really owe this person anything, really. Um, I'm just... I'm just feeling... Yeah, a lot of... It, it's almost a confused kind of energy because it's like they're just going back and forth like the wheel of their feelings is just constantly turning um fluctuation like i said an imbalance um 
this last row of cards, what do they want from you? We've really touched on this already. Um, judgment, this is about rebirth, awakening, change, transformation. Uh, this person I think is really wanting a change in your connection. I think they're wanting things to improve. I think they're wanting for you to come towards them again. Uh, the Three of Cups is harmony, unity, friendship, togetherness. This person wants to have a positive relationship with you again. This person wants to, they would like for you to, you know, offer them your friendship, your, for some of you more than friendship, but you know what I mean. Um, they're wanting for you to offer them your cup of, you know, good, good feelings and, and reconciliation and that kind of thing. Um, the page of pentacles here is reversed this is um, okay oh gosh this is saying to me uh your person would like for you to focus specifically focus on them and focus on this connection now you may already be pretty focused on them but uh from their point of view you're not focusing on them in the right way again they want for you to reach out to them they want for you to make the apology to them etc and if you're not doing that, then, you know, they're interpreting that as you not paying attention, as you being distracted by other things and, and not focusing on what's really important, which to them is this connection. Um, and the Empress is a card of, I mean, generally this card gives us feelings of unconditional love, wish fulfillment, um, this also relates to like manifestation and creativity as far as what this person wants from you the empress is <laughs> some of you are going to be very frustrated with this message but your person is wanting basically they're wanting your love and attention and they don't want you to be upset with them or mad at them um they want you to they want to make up but they want you to do most of the work and that's really not fair to you but I probably don't have to tell you that um, this is like I said this person's energy not great it's kind of a frustrating thing to me I'm I can only imagine how how you feel like hearing this stuff um, but yeah that's what I'm getting for you group one I'm sorry this wasn't like a great reading a great message but that's the message that I have for you if this doesn't sound right if this doesn't seem to fit into your situation then it's probably not meant for you this is just a general reading so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind um, if something doesn't fit don't try to make it fit so with that said thank you guys for watching uh, I appreciate you joining me today. I hope I see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay. Group two. For you guys, I am going to use the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. Let's find out what group two's person is thinking of them, their feelings, and what they want. We have the Empress reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, hmm. Is group two's person thinking of them? Four of cups reversed and the two of cups reversed. Okay. Hmm. What are group two's person's feelings towards them? How is your person feeling about you, group two? That is too many cards. Okay. Seven of Swords.
Hierophant reversed. These cards are so big and unruly. I love them. I love this deck, but the cards are so difficult to shuffle. I guess I have... I guess I just have tiny hands. I don't know. <clears throat> How is your person feeling about you, group two? of cups reversed, six of wands reversed, and what is your person wanting from you, group two? Whoa. Six of pentacles. Four of Pentacles, the High Priestess reversed, the Magician, okay, interesting, let me grab a couple Oracle cards, we have True Love, and express your love okay so group two um we've got some interesting stuff here first of all a lot of reversals um these first two rows are almost all reversals in fact uh so is your person thinking of you I would say yes. Uh, your person is thinking of you. However, their their thoughts seem to be kind of like confused, kind of jumbled. Um, the first two cards that we have here are the Empress and the Queen of Wands, both reversed. Um, I'm going to talk about these two cards together because they're kind of similar. Uh, in the reverse position, the Empress can indicate uh, like feelings of being smothered or overwhelmed the queen of wands reversed can be about like feeling very burnt out or uh feeling kind of pessimistic in a situation i'm getting a lack of self-confidence a lack of self-worth insecurities a lot of insecurities um the two of cups is here also reversed in the reverse position this card tends to indicate some sort of disconnect between people or uh sometimes a dysfunctional relationship um and the four of cups reversed generally this is apathy disappointment uncertainty not really knowing what you want in the reverse position, usually this is like somebody making a choice, somebody finally figuring out what it is that they want in a situation. And so all of these cards together, um, I'm going to do my best to explain what I'm getting here, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like this person seems to be very insecure about your connection for some reason. Uh, it's like they are... It's, it's like they feel, they feel overwhelmed by it. And I know right now we're not talking specifically about feelings, but it's, that's, that is something that I'm getting. Um, they feel kind of overwhelmed by it. I'm also getting that, let's see, how do I want to say this? They seem to think that you are not on the same page. The two of you they seem to think that 
you do not care for them or you don't you don't love them or you don't have feelings for them maybe you used to but now you don't that seem that's that's like their thoughts on this uh situation their thoughts relating to you um i'm getting i'm getting that this person really this person seems to to have a lot of love for you. Uh, I mean, we have the true love card showing up here. Uh, this is the romance of a lifetime. This suggests to me, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It suggests to me that this person cares about you a lot, a lot of fondness, a lot of affection, a lot of loving energy towards you. However, I get the impression that they don't really know what to do with it. I don't know if perhaps you have rejected them or you have stepped away from them. Or if something occurred that made you feel like it was necessary to step away from this person. Um, or, alternatively, some of you, uh, this person messed up somehow and now they're regretting it and they're feeling like they can't come back towards you. Like they can't come towards you to try to make things right again, but they're wishing they had done things differently. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. They're they're feeling like they're feeling like or they're they're thinking and feeling that this connection is almost beyond repair. And that may, seems to make them very sad. Um and, and that kind of brings us to this next row of cards. Um the six of wands reversed is about defeat. It's about feelings of defeat, disappointment failure the six of cups reversed indicates a, a a a struggle with letting go of something letting go of the past an issue with that um the hierophant reversed is kind of interesting here because this usually indicates like some kind of uh something that is unconventional or not uh non-traditional um as far as feelings it can imply that somebody maybe feels trapped uh, or stuck for some reason. Particularly trapped due to like social pressures or expectations of other people. Um, I think it's very possible that, okay, I think it's very possible that this person <sighs> would like to have some sort of reunion or reconnection with you, but they're feeling like you would not be receptive to it, like you wouldn't be interested. And so it's like they they want to have that opportunity, but they don't know what to do with that desire because they they just they feel like they can't come towards you. Um, and the seven of swords, this card is in the context of feelings it suggests that you know this person sees you as someone who is kind of uh this person sees you as someone who wants to be alone right now it's it's like they're they're seeing you as very distant from them um very icy kind of cold towards them and you know that y you maybe haven't actually been cold or distant towards them but like that's how they're perceiving you or perceiving your actions or your words towards them um i feel i mean this this is all pretty straightforward stuff that i'm getting here i have to say uh pretty simply you know, obviously this is general, so there could be a number of things that have led to this point between you and, and them. Um, but the gist of this is that there was some kind of conflict, some kind of issue between you and this person. There's been a separation, I feel, for the most part. Um, now this person is wishing for some sort of reconciliation or, you know, forgiveness. But they're seeing, they're they're thinking that you are closed off to them. They're they're perceiving you to be closed off to them, and so they want to reconnect. They want to try to they they want things to be fixed, but they feel like they can't take action towards you 
because they are perceiving you as being closed off and not receptive to them. Does that make sense? Um, what they're wanting from you, we've really already talked about this. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, this is balance, this is reciprocation, um, generosity. This also, to me, is a communication card, so I feel that they are wanting contact from you if you're not in contact. Um, if you are, or, you know, regardless of whether you are or aren't in communication with each other, I feel like this person also just, they want to have a balanced relationship with you. They would like to have a conversation. They would like to have an equal give and take between the two of you. They want some understanding. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, this card to me is about holding on to something, uh, trying to control a situation. Um, basically, they, they don't want for you to let this connection go. They don't want for you to let it go. They don't want you to let them go. Um, the High Priestess reversed. This to me is talking about communication as well. It's also talking to me about something coming to light, illumination, coming forward out of, <laughs> out of the darkness into the light. Um, basically, they just want some transparency. They want an opportunity to give you to shed some light for you and be transparent with you. And they also want for you to do that for them. Does that make sense? Um, and the magician, this is about potential manifestation, new beginnings as well. This is a very new, fresh kind of energy. Um, pretty straightforward. I feel like this person wants to try to rebuild your relationship, rebuild your connection. Um, Express your love is the other oracle card that came up. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, again, this is a card of communication and a card about open, honest, you know, discussions, talking to each other. And that's really the gist of what this person is wanting from you. This person is just wanting to reach some kind of understanding. <coughs> they're wanting honesty. They're wanting openness. And they're wanting for you to, to know where they're coming from. Because I feel like they, they feel as though they haven't had an opportunity to give you their side of the story, or they feel like you don't understand where they're coming from in this situation. Uh, so they want to have an opportunity to explain to you, like what, like their thought process, their, you know, their reasoning behind whatever happened, whatever they did or said. Um, but yeah, this person is definitely thinking of you. I feel like they're dwelling on this situation a lot lately. Um, okay. So, guys, that's really all that I'm getting for you at the moment. Um, I hope this resonated with you. I hope this was interesting. Uh, this is just general, so... If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me today, though. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay. Lastly is group three. This is the deck that I'm going to be using for you, Group 3. I honestly have no idea what it is called. This was actually my mom's deck that she recently found um, in some of her old stuff <laughs> that she had stored away. And the box doesn't have anything written on it. Uh, and this was the only this was what she found it in and that's it uh, so there's nothing that indicates what this deck is called and I don't think I've ever seen this deck before like out in the wild um, so if anybody knows what this deck is let me know I would love to find that out so I can uh, you know credit the artist and whatnot the people who made it um, yeah so group three is your person thinking of you during this quarantine? Let's 
see we have the four of cups we have the six no nine of wands reversed Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. How is your person feeling about you currently? King of Cups reversed, Five of Cups, the Devil. Okay. And the Magician reversed. And what is your person wanting from you, Group 3? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. What is Group 3's person wanting from them? Three of Cups, Ten of Swords reversed, the Fool reversed, and let's get one more, the Hierophant also reversed. Okay. And let's grab a couple of Oracle cards and then we will talk about this stuff. Codependency. Hmm. And trust. Interesting, interesting. So the first thing that I want to say is that um, this message is kind of similar to the previous one, uh, Group 2's reading. Actually, all of them so far, well, all of the ones <laughs> that I've done today have been kind of similar. Um, this one, what I'm seeing here is that <sighs> your person, your person definitely is thinking of you. There is this feeling of resignation that I get from your person. It's not resignation that they're feeling towards you specifically, but just in general. Um, I get that, uh, from the Four of Cups here and also from the Nine of Wands reversed. The Four of Cups, this is usually apathy, disappointment, um, uncertainty, not knowing what you want, really. Um, the Nine of Wands reversed can talk about exhaustion, wanting to give up on something, wanting to just lay down and admit defeat and surrender in a situation. Um, however, we also have the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is holding on to something. This is refusing to let go. Um, and the Knight of Wands is a card of passion and enthusiasm and energy. And I feel like your person that you're thinking of is, they are thinking of you. They... They're kind of, okay, how do I want to say this? Um, okay, let me, let me talk about their feelings first, um, and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll put all of this together. As far as their feelings towards you are concerned, we have the King of Cups reversed, the Five of Cups, the Devil, and the Magician reversed. So the Devil card, this can represent um, fixation, obsession. It can also represent toxic relationships or codependencies. Um, and it's interesting because the codependency card did show up here. Uh, I feel like your person is almost like borderline obsessive 
when it comes to your connection because it seems like they just can't let it go. It seems like they just cannot stop. They can't release this. They might want to to some extent with these two cards here, but at the end of the day, they just can't. It's like something that they just cannot let go of. Um, the magician card in the reverse this is uh this is like a new beginning or <sighs> this is something that is being blocked this is giving me feelings of being stuck feelings of being very trapped and so does the devil card um the five of cups this is grief sadness loss um a fixation on the negatives and the king of cups reversed this is uh in the upright, this is a very loving kind of energy. Um, this is emotional maturity, emotional intelligence. In the reverse, however, this is like emotions that are almost out of control or emotions that are not well understood. Um, again, kind of in, I, I feel like this person is almost like fixated on you, fixated on this connection. And it's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> And again, part of them wants to just be able to let it go and let it die, but another part of them just can't seem to do that. It's almost like your connection is something that they're addicted to, uh, which is kind of weird. Um, okay, so th this person definitely is thinking of you. Absolutely. And as far as they're, what they're wanting from you, the Three of Cups, this is friendship, this is unity and harmony. Um, I feel like this person wants to be near you. I feel like this person wants for things to be good between the two of you. They want friendship. They want uh, to be a part of your life. Because I feel like right now, most of you probably don't have a lot of contact with this person. I feel like some of you even have kind of like pulled back because you're not sure like what to do with this connection <laughs> you're not sure what to do with this person they might be freaking you out a little bit um the ten of swords reversed is about healing it's about moving on from pain or suffering or grief um it's acceptance as well if there has been any kind of conflict fighting disagreements between the two of you um, this person wants to move on from that stuff. This person wants to heal those wounds and resolve those conflicts. Um, the Fool reversed. This is usually, this card usually comes up when someone is afraid or reluctant to take a risk, to take a leap of faith. Generally speaking, this is about new beginnings. It's about embarking on a brand new adventure. Um, and the Hierophant reversed is unconventional, uh, something unconventional or non-traditional. Um, okay, hold on. Let me, I want to pull out maybe one or two clarifiers for these two cards. Ten of Wands and Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. This person wants to believe that everything will work out between the two of you, that everything will be okay. I feel like somebody here is kind of running from this connection and the other person is really trying to chase after them. Um, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. This person is trying to trust and have faith that things will work out the way that they're meant to. 
Um, however, and okay, back up. Um, the Ten of Wands, this is usually about letting go of some kind of burden, releasing something that is weighing you down. The Knight of Swords reversed can represent, uh, I mean, obviously this card can represent communication and clarity and insight, but in the reverse position it tends to be more about like hasty, hasty action, uh, recklessness, quick, you know, decision making without thinking things through first. So these cards are kind of interesting showing up for what this person wants from you. It's like this person... It's like this person wants for you to take a chance on them. It's like this person wants for you to let go, forget about, forgive any problems that you've had with each other, like, and and just move on from those things and just accept this person for what they are, who they are. Um, so that's kind of, I, I don't know, that's kind of a... Um, this is kind of an odd energy that I get from this person, and maybe this will make sense, maybe this will make more sense to you, like, with the context of what your relationship has been like, but, like, to me, as an outsider, this is kind of weird, uh, so forgive me, <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like this person just wants... This person just just wants to have a, a, a clean start, basically. They want for you to t give them a chance, another chance, um, and to heal and move on from the conflicts, the issues of the past. Uh, so very, very straightforward message here. Um, I, I, I don't, you know, obviously this is just general, but I get the impression that a lot of you watching maybe kind of resistant to this idea and if so you know there's not really there's nothing inherently wrong with that you may have very good reason to be resistant uh to this person i'm not you know i'm not saying what you should or shouldn't do in this situation um but yeah this is just a like i said this is kind of similar to the other two readings uh which is weird because Usually in these pick a cards, um, you know, maybe two of the messages will be kind of similar, but there's usually at least one that's quite different. Um, but all of these are kind of along the same lines. And I don't know, I, I guess maybe just current events, what's going on in the world, it has people feeling very stuck and very confined. And it's, it's bringing up a lot of bringing up a lot of hard feelings and, and difficult uh, emotions for many people. Um, maybe you're experiencing that as well. Um, but yeah, those are really all the messages that I'm getting for you guys right now. I hope this was interesting and I hope that this resonated with you, group three. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I see you next time. This is just a general reading, remember, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. And also, like I said, if anybody knows what this deck is called, please let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching. Hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!